Right, C3 walk around tour for 2021 2022. So we've changed to the black checker plate, have for quite a while now. It's much more popular, looks better in my opinion. But the shape and structure of the camper hasn't changed, it's still the same C3. Um, have a close up look of the awning. So the gutter goes all the way to the end, has for quite a while, and as you can see, it's sealed right up to the wall of the camper so no rain can get in. One thing that has changed, there's a stiffener in the doors. All the doors have that stiffener there, which um, uh, reduces vibration on corrugated roads, helps with dust suppression. Kitchen is the same. We either have the Tetford or the NCE version, depending on availability. Um, pantry, very similar. One thing that has changed, all the LED lights are now uh, have a switch on them, on off switch, including the one in the pantry, and they swivel. So you can uh, point them to where you need them, especially uh, useful on that uh, pantry. That uh, 270 degree awning protects the fridge, which is really good. 240 volt is uh, standard, has been for a while now. So we have the uh, outlets there on, right next to the pantry. It's a really convenient spot when you're on 240 volt power. It's just showing you how the um, shower pod works. So it just lifts up on grass struts and then you drop the, the nylon uh, shower enclosure inside we have the the light you have the uh, shower rows there's some loops for hanging towels and what have you and there's a large window if you're somewhere that uh, you're private you can uh, open the window up so you get uh, plenty of um, breeze if it's hot Right, around the other side, that's where the hot water outlet is, or the, the venting for the gas. There's the 240 volt uh, 15 amp inlet. As you can see, there were three uh, compression locks on that uh, door there. Doesn't really need it, but it does help a bit. This has the uh, that blue box, that's a 240 volt charger. That is actually an option still, so it's not standard. Um, this camper had it. The RCD, there that is standard with the uh, 240 volt sockets next to it that is also standard now it's all done by the electrician here in australia next to it you have the uh, 200 amp hour agm batteries and to the left of the rcd above the charger you can see the water selector from the front tank or the rear tank you can um, cut off one or the other right so the switchboard we're looking at now it does have something that's a bit different it has an extra extra 50 amp breaker that extra breaker goes to the uh, Anderson connector on the front of the trailer and the other breakers for the rest of the 12 volt. So front and rear water tank gauges and resettable fuses for all the uh, switches, pretty much um, how it's always been, except for that extra breaker. This is the drawer opposite the fridge slide. So it does have uh, power running to that drawer as well. So you can plug another fridge in if you like, but you can put a barbecue in there, a Weber or something like that. Very useful storage. Another useful storage area is the front lockers, uh, good for long things and light things like awning walls, also fishing rods, that kind of thing. Basically the changes inside have been um, superficial but quite good. Um, you can see the reading lights there are, are flush mounted onto the side of the camper. They switch on and off on individual switches. This has the optional air conditioner in it, so that's an option. So you can see it has a SIG socket on the side there, um, speaker and light on both sides. TV as usual. Storage for books and what have you.
And under the bed, this is where most people keep their clothes. So it's a large storage drawer, two of them. There's storage inside the swing doors. Most people put a porta potty in there because it's accessible from the outside as well, which you can, it's convenient for um, emptying when you're on the road. That can be used for anything. Above that is a drawer, general purpose. And above that again is some storage with a mirror on inside the um, lift up bench. So when we swing around, we have the the couch or the lounge that doubles as a bunk bed, double bunk beds. So you lift up the backrest, click it in with those two barrel bolts and you have double bunks for children. Nice and white long too, 185 long. So the top bunk has a net um, that attaches to the roof uh, that um, for, for safety reasons, so the person sleeping on the top bunk can't roll off, so it just clips onto the roof there. Underneath, if you lift up the um, bottom bunk, it's on, it's on gas struts as well, you have um, storage. On the left there you can see the hot water system, but except for that, the space is completely open to store whatever you like. It's also accessible from the hatch on the passenger side, from the outside. But you can put long things like uh, fishing rods, poles. You can see in there the um, Dutch Aioni extra poles. So yeah, it's a really good storage space. So as you can see, it's very airy, lots of ventilation. And it's easy to lift that, that roof because it's just one end. So it's, it's quite light, it's on grass struts. Right, you have uh, 240 volt sockets on the inside as well. That's part of the um, 240 volt kit that's now standard. On the inside of the door, there's a radio slash DVD player and um, some SIG sockets, USB sockets. And then on the other side of that, there is the uh, control panel for the hot water system. So the screen door locks from the inside now, so you can have it locked independently of the main door. So that's another change that's been around for a while. 